everybody! Welcome to another episode of Eating Can Be Fun. As always, I'm Be More Foodie, and tonight's topic is banana nut bread. Now, I had said in my earlier Christmas cookies thing, and I didn't really tell you about the recipe. I got it off the back of a Domino's sugar bag, but I made those cookies for um, where I work at the wine shop, and now I'm making banana nut bread. I got the recipe off of the gold medal flower bag on the back. So, you know, it's great. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you what's in it, but if you go buy a bag of gold medal flour, it's on the back. But I will tell you, I've got um, bananas in here. I've got, um, I'm just stirring it up right now. I've already, I beat the uh, eggs and everything in there, vanilla. It said chopped nuts if desired. I decided, let me put some almonds in there. Usually people put like walnuts or maybe something else. I thought, oh, let me put some almonds. You know, those are good. And again, like my motto, making it fun, I have added on my own, I added some nutmeg, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper because if you know from one of my other segments, which I don't remember which one that was now, but I had cayenne pepper in something. So all I know is it was really good. Oh, I know, it was the pumpkin bread, pumpkin bar stuff. So I like that sweet, savory mixture. Um, so I added cayenne pepper, so it's going to have some zip to it, and I can't wait. So again, making it on your own. So I take a recipe and just add stuff to it. I pretend that I, did, I came up with the recipe. But I'm nice enough to tell you that where I got it from. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in a pan that I've already greased up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that in the oven at 350 for, it says on here, oh wow, okay, an hour and a half. I'll be up for a little while. Oh well, whoops, I didn't look at the, I didn't look at that part of the directions, but hey, it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to bake this and obviously I'm not going to sit and talk to you or stand because I'm standing. I'm not going to stand and talk to you for an hour even though I could probably make up a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. It would truly be exciting. I will have to come back with the end results because I can find something else to do, like clean up the kitchen. That's a good idea. So I just want to let you know what I'm doing right now, what's going on, and as always, I'll be back with a good picture. End result, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy. Until that time, see you in the next hour and a half or so. Cheers.